All right, guys, welcome back. So behind me is our 94 Mustang that I'm calling the Hell Stang. It's gonna be a turbo Mustang that we're building for the upcoming Hot Rod Power Tour that's in June, which is only, uh, we leave 70 days from today. So we don't have a whole lot of time left. Now on this car, if you've been following the build, you know we're gonna be using a Holley Terminator X system on this car. So when you do that, when you add in the Holley Terminator, you know, harness and all that stuff, then you're left with having to go through your factory harness and remove a lot of the stuff that we don't need or what now becomes redundant because the Holley harness has it built in. For example, the fuel injector harness, right? Holley has its own fuel injector harness. We don't need the factory one, but that one is tied in with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, that we need, we don't need, right? So you kind of, kind of got to go through all that stuff. It's a real big pain in the butt. I've done it before in other builds and it just takes so much time. You're going to be reading factory, you know, diagnostic repair manuals, all that stuff. If you have the time, it's a great tool or a great way to learn. So I, I would advise to maybe give it a shot. But if you're like me, you're in a time crunch, you want it to be done right. I want to make sure this thing hopefully fires up the first time. I ended up using a service from a company called MF Customs. Now these guys are based out of Missouri and I actually found these guys through like the Ford Holly Terminator Facebook group, uh, but their service has been awesome. So what they do is I'm able to send them my factory harness. And so for the Mustang, they just need the ECU to CCRM, the big, huge harness, uh, and then the transmission harness. So they don't need the battery harness. They don't need the alternator harness. You're just going to keep those with the car, put those on just like normal. But what these guys do is when you send them your harness, they're going to go through it. They're going to de-loom all the crappy 30, 25 year old uh, tape, tubing and they're what you can see on mine right they ended up redoing the whole thing they put on all new uh um sleeving right so it's beautiful looks modern kind of matches what the holly looks like but they go through and they get rid of all the junk we don't need and only leave us with what we do need i'm super happy super impressed uh with their service these guys turned this around for me i think in about three weeks too it was pretty pretty quick now one thing with these mustangs is my 94 here has a uh, uh, ccrm a constant relay control module that's run by the factory computer. But now that we're getting rid of the factory computer, uh, we're not gonna use that CCRM. So what these guys do is they actually put in a pretty trick uh, relay block. So we've got a few relays here. The relays will control our high speed fan, our low speed fan, uh, the air conditioning, the wide open throttle shutoff, and then the fuel pump. So uh, four, four little relays, they give us a nice beautiful little thing to mount them. And then let me just show you, the only thing that we've got to hook up here is I think there's one chassis ground that's uh, near the battery. So super simple, hook that chassis ground up. And then we've got uh, one little ground here that goes inside the car. This is, all this stuff goes through the firewall where the factory computer is on your Mustang. And so we've just got one fuel pump wire and this is gonna go into the Holley. And we've got our 12 volt switched. So this is our trigger wire for the Holley. And this is our tech signal to the Holly. So we literally just hook up those three wires, one ground, two ground on there. We're done. This is good to go. And then we can move on to the Holly harness. So this is just going to make it super simple. Uh, the other really cool thing these guys do with their harness is they end up running your transmission harness uh, as part of this one connector here, right? So uh, they got rid of like the huge, there was a huge big old connector. They get rid of all that with all the stuff we don't need. So you just have this connector here, which this wiring, uh, this is for the coolant temperature sensor. This is for our factory gauge. And this is for the oil pressure for our factory gauge. So with this harness, all of our factory gauges are still going to work. The air conditioning is still going to work, which is a big plus for me, right? So we're keeping all that stock stuff so the car will function inside just like normal, right? Now what they do is instead of having a separate harness for the transmission, they were able to just keep it as one little nice harness. So this just runs through the trans tunnel and this will go to our transmission. So pretty freaking easy, pretty simple. I, I'm super stoked about this. It's going to make installation really, really easy. Um, it looks like the hardest part is going to be, you know, fishing this through the body of the car and then just, you know, connecting all these guys. 
The other thing I want to mention, they also give us a uh, input output connector for the Holly. So this plugs right into the Holly, make it really, really simple for us. And this is going to control, this is like for the relay. So this will control the AC, wide open throttle shutoff, the fuel pump, and the fans, high and low. So that's pretty sweet. You just plug that thing in, and then they actually give you uh, some of the they give you directions on how to configure the IOs in the Holly Terminator. So uh, once I get that, that up and running, I can do all that. So pretty awesome. So I just want to show you guys this service because, again, if you guys are doing a Holly Terminator like I am and you want to use the Holly Terminator harness and just kind of clean up the stock harness, this is a cool service. Uh, I think the, these guys charge, it's about 475 bucks for the service plus shipping each way, you know, there and back. So it's about 500 bucks. But again, it takes these guys about 18 hours to delume this, to pull out all the wires, to unpin it. They also replace any broken connectors as they go. So, you know, you're getting back something that's completely tested. You know, they 100% test each thing, make sure uh, everything works, all that good stuff. So for your project, man, I, I just, I, I can't say enough about it. I'm so happy. When I look at this harness, I'm just so stoked. I didn't have to do all this work because I know if it took these guys who do this all the time, and I talked to the owners, uh, these guys are super knowledgeable about our SN95s and Fox bodies and stuff. And if it takes them 18 hours, it would take me double that, right? I'd be doing this for a whole week straight, 40 hours, you know, and it would probably still be screwed up. Now, the other service these guys offer, if you want to make your life even easier and your factory wiring is all kind of in good shape, you know, on my car, I was a little bit worried about the factory wiring because it's, you know, the car's 94, it's going on like 30 years old, right? So I kind of wanted to use the Holly harness and then just kind of keep what I needed of the factory. But, so if you want to make your life easy and just do a plug and play option, MF Customs offers that as well. So what they make is a really cool proprietary adapter. You basically go in the car, you remove your factory computer, throw it in the garbage or sell it, and then you take their adapter, plug that in, and then you plug in the actual Holly Terminator computer. Boom, plug it right in, bam, everything is functioning, everything is working. There might be a couple wires or something you gotta wire in, but otherwise it's basically, from what I understand, plug and play. And then the Holly is basically using all of your factory wiring and everything to function. So that makes it a uh, pretty dang sweet. So that's another option. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive for that. I think it's like 775 bucks, something like that. Uh, but I'm gonna put the link down below to their website. You guys can check it out. You know, you can go ahead and talk to them. The owner, uh, Danny Kimber, super awesome guy. Uh, he's been really, really helpful with all my questions. So I'd advise to reach out to him. He's also pretty active on the uh, Ford Holly Terminator Facebook group. Uh, so you can reach out to him there as well. Now, I don't think today we're going to get to installing the full harness, but what I would like to do today and show you guys is I am going to go ahead and pop in this side back into the car. Uh, I've already done some work yesterday where I've got the wheels off. I was messing with suspension. So I've already got access to the hole. I've still got this wheel liner off. So I would like to uh, get that pop back in. I want to show you guys how nice the uh, little small harness is that they give you uh, for the factory gauges and then the part that goes to the transmission. So... Uh, this connector originally is something like this right here. And so, look, they just got it nicely, you know, very small. It's going to be super easy to run. I might not put it up there. I might put it down there, kind of run it behind and through the middle of the Holly High Ram. Um, but look, here we've got our oil pressure connector for our gauge. And then this is going to be coolant temperature sensor, which would be on the Holly manifold. Uh, so on mine, I think I moved it. Yeah, I moved it this side for the factory Holly on this side. But like, look at that. It's just one clean little wire easy peasy, right? So that makes it really, really nice. And then this part, you just run through the trans tunnel and then connect it, uh, the two connectors to the transmission. So super easy. And then that's it, right? Then we just got that big harness inside and then the other connectors going around. All right, so I got the uh, wires fed through our little hole here, and you can see where this grommet now and everything, all this, all this stuff hanging down. Uh, this just needs to get fed in here and through, and then uh, from the inside, we can just start connecting stuff, and then the uh, you know three wires that go to the holly, those will just have to wait, but hopefully we can get kind of all this stuff connected, kind of buttoned up. All right, so from this side, I just kind of tried to shove the wires in and down the <laughs> best I could. Uh, so I've just got that grommet hanging. So now we're gonna go inside and see 
And I'm guessing this is going to be a whole big pain in the butt, but you know, we got to try to reach our hand up in there and then just pull these things down and not break them. And hopefully they all come right down. So let's see that. I tell you boys what, I am super surprised. So just for me pushing that down from the other side, look, th these are all my wires and they all just came perfectly down. Wow. That's a, uh, man, that's a blessing. Cause I thought this was going to be me trying to get all the way up in here, you know, trying to, uh, wow. So, okay, sweet. Well, now I'm just going to go through and, you know, kind of painstakingly just, you know, connect whatever I can connect. And hopefully there's just that IO output connector and then those three wires that we connect to the Holly. And then that should be it. This part's donezo. All right, boys, get in here and have a quick look. So this ended up being pretty simple. So we got 12 volt switched. I think this is the tack signal. So these guys are plenty of wiring. Uh, the only one that's maybe a little short is uh, this dude here for whatever this is. Oh, fuel pump. So, I mean, still plenty of room. I can splice this and then run the little extension piece, wherever we need. But uh, once you start connecting, you know, one of these connectors, it kind of all makes sense. Um, now, on this bottom here, there was like this big old hefty bracket taped to it and stuff. So I untaped it, um, broke off those little Christmas tree connectors because it looks like all this stuff can just kind of live, you know, once we get this all finalized, right, we can just kind of have all this stuff. Uh, we'll just, you know, zip tie it all together, tape it back and it can live happily right in there. And then here's our Holly IO, you know, output connector deal. And I think I'm going to have to splice in or, or pin in one more connector here for my E85 sensor. Um, so I do need to get that put in, but again, I've got, you know, got plenty of room to work under here and I can get that thing put on. Won't be today. We'll wait till we start doing the Holly, you know, to do all that, but, uh, got the ground wire. Um, so this is the ground wire that came with it. Uh, this, you know, factory ground. So that's grounded. So inside the car here is, you know, good to go for now. All right. So last thing to do to button this part up, we just need to get our grommet popped all back in. Dang, that was surprisingly easy too. That just popped right in there. So cool. Looking beautiful. Need to connect some wires. All right. Well, let's see what we can do up top. All right, so coming back up out of here, this is the factory connector, factory Christmas tree. So I'm putting that here for now. Not sure if we'll keep it, but I just kind of wanted to uh, get this whole uh, transmission slash uh, gauge harness on there. So we could probably definitely run the uh, transmission harness to the back. What, this, is, um, this is like the starter. I don't know if this is like called the battery harness or whatever, but it actually is made to run over from, you know, battery here, connects there. And then it originally went down underneath the motor and then back. But I'm going to give that a shot. I'm just not sure that's going to work with the turbo crossover. So we'll have to see how that's going to work. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and take the trans harness. We can run that back, get that connected up. All right, so there's a trans harness hanging. Oh, there's the other guy too. Hey, buddy. So there's just two connectors back here. Pretty simple. Pop the first dude on here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, this dude right here, boom. Easy peasy. I don't know. Can't quite get my hand in there. How do you go on, my friend? Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Sweet. Well, that's done. So I'll just pull the slack back up to the top and then figure it all out. All right, guys. So I did a little bit of rerouting on this harness. Um, so uh, basically I, I had everything kind of coming out here through this one hole, but I decided, you know what, we can actually run it inside uh, through the fender, uh, inner fender area, and then just have everything kind of come out right here. And so that's what I've done. Um, so I've still got like three connectors that I don't even know what these go to yet. Probably could be stuff with the AC, not sure, but uh, we're going to leave this probably as far as we're going to get uh, right now, because now I need to start actually 
uh, doing some other mechanical work, you know, like put the intake on, turbo manifolds on, because then that's going to dictate how we route a lot of this other wiring and the Holly uh, Terminator harness and all that stuff. So I really need to get that in place. But uh, again, this was pretty dang simple, right? Um, I mean, that stuff fished through there super easy. I was pretty stoked about it. It's really easy install. And then I've, you know, of course, I've got to run our chassis ground, which actually where this comes out at, there's a ground location right here. So I'm just going to uh, put a little eyelet on there and I'll be able to ground that. And then we'll have to figure out, you know, where this thing's going to live permanently, probably create some kind of bracket or something. But um, since these are relays, we want to have pretty easy access to them. So figure something out. But I do like how, you know, this kind of keeps uh, this whole section pretty clean. So, you know, you don't have all the wires running through it. That's pretty sweet. I mean, if you were a crazy wire tuck dude, I know a lot of you guys will shove like all this crap in here. But um, I want to make sure I have my fender liner in there, you know, make sure we don't have any kind of contact. All right, guys, if you're running a Holley Terminator in your Mustang, then I would highly consider MF Customs for their services, whether it be the modified harness like I did on my car, or if you go with one of the plug-in plays, make things super simple on yourself. Give them a shot, like, share, subscribe. Until the next one, guys.